super low or super high tire pressure. What has more grip? 35 PSI. Do not inflate beyond 32. Well, we're at 35. 20 PSI max to seat beams. This is at 20. The other side's at 20. This is at 35. That's at 35. So these things are rock solid. All right, so I'm in the woods. We got a little rally course here that we made. And we're super high PSI right now. The maximum recommended for the, for the front was 32. We got 35. The max in the back, just to seat the bead was 20. We're at 20. So we're just about max recommendation for all of them. It was a super bumpy ride coming up here. But that's not what we're here to find out. We know it'll be bumpy. But will we have more grip? Will we have more grip? I'm going to hit some laps, film some turns, and then we'll drop the, pr the pressure super low on all of them, test that out, and we'll see on video and come to a conclusion. Now, when the tires are filled up a lot, they balloon, and they're like this. I'm honestly really curious myself to see what's going to happen here, because when you take a bunch out, it becomes a lot more flat, so then more surface area is touching the ground. But maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want just the middle, and then once you start turning, It'll cut through the ground more and dig these in on the side as needed, but I'm not sure. I don't know. The backs don't balloon that much. They do a slight bit, but we'll see what happens. Let's test it out. I think I'm going to start off by just coming out of here, and I'm going to start whipping through this turn as fast as I can. if you could tell there's this thing sticking out right here and I can't and there's just a baby turn it's not even that big of a turn but it understeers every time and I almost keep hitting it so it keeps understeering right here I'm gonna set up the camera here oh we're getting serious amounts of understeer I'm turning all the way back here, and it's just sliding. I have to slow down. So that's weird. It's not rock solid. The tires should be digging in, but they're not. I'm going to get one more angle from, from back here. This is a very tight turn, but it's a tight turn, and the ground is pretty hard. It's a pretty slick turn. You can see it either understeers or it oversteers. I'm gonna take air out of every tire and basically make it like a flat tire. Maybe a little, have a little air, but just about flat. Okay, so I decided I'm only gonna take air out the front. I'm gonna leave the back the same. And I'm leaving the back the same so we have some consistency. So the back should feel the exact same, just the front. We're only changing the front, We're leaving the back the same. So we'll see now if the front is better or worse. <laughs> it took forever to take the air out. They're much shorter, too. They're not as tall now. Test them out. I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to floor it coming out of that turn and we'll see if it understeers here. Okay, so I 100% can feel a difference. It is definitely better. It is definitely better. I think this turn, I still understeered a little bit. I think this turn is just prone to understeer because it's a slight bit slanted and there's a riv like a, a little rut in the ground. So if you're out of the rut, it wants to slide in. It definitely is 100% better. Definitely less understeer. 
much less understeer. As you could, you could see, I could go full speed into it. I was still understeering a little bit, but I was definitely not having the issue I was having before, where I would be sliding all the way to this point and almost hitting it. I did almost hit it once, but I started a little further back, so I had a little more speed. And that super tight turn, I was going into that turn with some speed. I would turn the wheel, and it was almost even tipping up on two wheels at one point. One thing I noticed, which I already have experienced this before because I've driven like this before, there's the wheel is a lot heavier. The steering wheel feels a lot heavier. You, you idiot. You're honestly an idiot. I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with you. It takes a little bit more muscle to move that. Not that it's that, not, it's not a big deal, but it definitely takes a little more effort to turn it. Um, when you're in a turn, you'll feel it squishing on the side. Sometimes you have to wait for it to like squish in. Like it'll take a second to load. The, the tire will be jiggling back and forth. It has to load and get in the right position. Uh, it's a little less responsive. It's a little less responsive, but once you're in the turn, leaning hard, definitely more grip, 100%. It was better here, and it was better on that tight turn. Now, it's not the biggest difference in the world, but I 100% can feel it when I'm really trying to push the traction, push the limits of these tires. Maybe another time we'll do a more detailed video. If I had to pick either super high tire pressure or super low t tire pressure, in these conditions, this right here, I 100% would take low tire pressure. Maybe a little bit more in the back so it spins in the front grip so you have oversteer instead of understeer. Right now there's a little too much. It spins a little too much in the, in the back. But I would definitely take lower tire pressure in the front. That's for sure. Like, look at that. Like you're going around a turn, squishes like that. It's just shoving all the tire into the ground. But it is a little less responsive. And it takes a little more muscle to steer, but it's not that bad. Just because, why not? I'm going to do a launch right now with lots of air in the back tires. Just right here, I'll do a launch. Then I'm going to make them almost completely flat and do another launch. We'll see if there's a difference. That was second gear sitting in the middle of the seat. I'm going to try to do the exact same thing, but with way less air. All right. They're not completely flat, but I took out a lot of air. One quick thing, so now with less less pressure in the back, I mean, as you could assume, so we let air out the front, we had more grip. We can go a little faster without understeering. Now with less air in the back, we can go faster without drifting. So we can all around go faster with less PSI. Low PSI wins.